we're going to look at using Think Link to create a basic uh, digital escape room scene. You'll need to set up an account, um, a teacher account, um, and then you can create your own uh, digital escape room. So we're going to look at how to do that now. Uh, you'll need a 360 degree image, uh, which you're going to use as the background to your digital escape room. So you're going to click on create and upload 360 degree VR image. Um, and then you, you'll find the, the correct file, the one that you, you want to use um, on your computer. So we're going to use the one that I saved earlier that we resized, uh, which I think was this one. Uh, I'm going to open that. And if the image is the correct size, it will open up uh, in this view here. If it's not the correct size, it will tell you. So here you can see our basic background image, uh, just this room here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to start adding uh, objects inside this room. Now this menu here at the side, uh, we have uh, add tag. And if you click on that, you can see the different things that you can add to the scene. You can add text and media. You can add links to other websites. Uh, you can add text labels, which are just small um, phrases or short pieces of text that appear as you click on them or hover over them. Um, and you can create a tour which will take you to another scene. Um, so let's just uh, try adding some text. Um, so say we wanted this to be clue number one. Uh, we'll type in a title and then maybe I want to include some kind of text clue or I could add an image clue. So for example, if I go to my folder where I have um, all of my images that I like to use in escape rooms, should be here. Okay, so um, let's say that I wanted to include, I don't know, this picture here of this monkey. Um, I've added it here. And this is clue number one. We can also add audio. So I can upload a uh, sound effects or music if I wanted to. Um, I can also add a button that will take me to a link to another website, etc. Okay, so this is how you add a, an icon. So you can see I can place this wherever I want to. Maybe we'll just leave it here in the window. And also I can edit the type of icon. So here at the moment we have a, a plus sign. But if I click that, I can choose any of these different icons or even upload my own. So in this case, I'm just going to put a picture and I can also choose a different color. Um, and there, there is my icon. Okay, let's add another tag. This time we're going to add a text label. Um, so this is just a short piece of text that will appear on the screen. So I'm just going to put something like, Search around the room for clues. And then I'm going to give it a info sign. Okay, and I'm going to put this here on the notice board. Okay, and this is what you do. You can start adding different texts, images, links, etc. Um, we can um, also, if we upload more pictures, more scenes, we can also um, lead on from this room to another room, for example. Now, I already have lots of scenes already uploaded, 
So if I wanted to use one of those, um, I could uh, take my students there. I would just, for example, wanted to click on this one, for example. Um, oops, I need to change the icon. Maybe uh, an arrow would be better this time uh, to show students that they can uh, click on that to go somewhere else. Okay. Uh, the settings you you can uh, have the tags kind of like pulse so that uh, they are clear um, or if you prefer them to be a little bit more hidden you might want to turn that off and you can up upload background audio background music narration sound effects whatever you want um, and that's it so that's a basic scene this is what it would look like and if I go on full screen, this is what the students would see as they explore the room. Okay, so you can see this is a, a text clue. As I hover over that, it appears. Um, this one doesn't, so I have to click on that. Um, and then if I click on this one, it takes us to the other scene. where uh, there are already other clues because I use this in a, in a different, um, a different uh, adventure. Um, so that's basically how you create a simple escape room scene using ThingLink. Now once I've got my uh, completed scene, I want to share it with people. Um, so from the main menu, I'm going to click on these three uh, ellipses here. Oh. And I'm going to click on publish. Um, so um, I can share the link, I can publish it to social media, or I can embed it in a blog. Uh, but I need to make it public first. Okay, so if I make it public, and then I have the link, so I can just copy that link and then share it uh, wherever I like. Um, we'd like you to share your links in our Slack group uh, for digital escape rooms um, and make sure they're public so that everybody else can, can see them and try them out once they're finished.